And, you know, now 98% of physicians out there are employed. And this is bad news for a guy like you, because when you go to see a doctor like that, are you getting his opinion? Or are you getting the opinion of his employ employer? Right. And a lot of patients don't understand. That's part of the reason why doctors have to write some of the prescriptions they do, because if they don't, they don't get paid the bonuses that they're promised, even if they know it's not the right thing to do. Um, and I think when doctors realize that they can unplug and plug into a monetary network that will return the benefit to them, and that they don't have to go get a blue check from Twitter, and they don't have to go get their paycheck from a CEO of a hospital system or a healthcare system, and they can actually practice medicine between them and their patient with nobody in between, to me, that's a huge benefit. That's why I signed up to do this. Yeah, and they, to me, that is the problem with centralized medicine. You know, the sad part about this, I don't even think uh, a lot of the public understands, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty good about bad mouthing us in allopathic medicine, uh, but I don't think they understand how the system has changed over the last 40 years to make it almost impossible for doctors to work on your behalf. Uh, because if you do, doctors are now penalized for that. And penalized, especially now in the last two or three years, and especially with COVID, um, if you don't well, fire them, how financially, career wise, reputationally, oh yeah. well, they fire you, they, they will actually make sure that the primary care doctors at the hospital uh, employees do not send you any cases. In other words, they will destroy your business if you yeah. don't fall in line with the party line. And that's, you know, that's exactly what, you know, communism or total, uh, total, uh, total, totalitarianism. Or, exactly. <laughs> Sorry about that tongue tied um, governments actually do. And, but I don't think people realize that we have medical tyranny right now in, in healthcare because of centralized medicine. Um, and I almost hate to say this, but part of the reason why that's the case is because older doctors, I'm talking about the generation above me, uh, got sick and tired of dealing with the bullshit, quite frankly, that they had a face because they were the Marcus Welby generation. I wasn't, but when I saw medicine change, because I was in that transition, I was like, how can I allow a CEO or a COO or a bean counter tell me how to treat my patients with disease A, disease B, disease C? And when I actually saw how they were doing it by pulling the financial strings, kind of like Pinocchio, that's when you had to worry about what's the ultimate long-term effect of this, you know, for patients long-term. And, you know, I, I think you know, when we talk about return on equity, what are allopathic doctors really good at? We're good at acute stuff. You get, you know, a car wreck, you get a broken leg, broken arm, uh, a subdural hematoma. We're great at that. But what do we suck at? We suck at the things that we have all these chronic disease epidemics in, like obesity, autoimmunity, uh, diabetes. You know, those are just a few examples. And those are the things that are actually killing Americans. And when you think about the country that we live in, um, that shouldn't be the case. I mean, we're like 28th in the world in infant mortality. And, you know, we call other countries third world. That's ridiculous. We actually had a, a doctor on Twitter uh, almost get the platform for actually making a tweet about breastfeeding to uh, a patient online about, you know, who just had a baby and a registered dietitian turned him in and it cost him a million dollars to defend his medical license. Um, that never would ever happen, you know, when I first came out. But that's the reality that we live in now.